Welcome to Algebra 2. We are talking about choosing the best model for two variable data. Uh, this is the title for section 11.5. Uh, what that title means is we are essentially going to be given a t table of some sort. Okay? We should uh, be familiar with being given t tables, and it will be filled out with, with your x's and your y's. And choosing the best model for two variable data, that's our two variables, x and y. And this is kind of a looking back on a bunch of the stuff we've covered this year section. It's kind of like a, like a recap. I don't know. Um, basically, you guys have to decide all of these different types of functions that we've talked about. We started off the year talking about linear functions. And we've talked about quadratic functions. And we've talked about like cubic or quartic even. Um, and then we also had a, a chapter on exponential functions. Um, those are going to be the main four that we're working with, but essentially you guys are going to be given this T table and you guys have to figure out which of these types that this T table corresponds to. And then furthermore, uh, you guys have to come up with the equation for that. Now in, I believe it was chapter two, you guys did a lot of the same stuff that we're doing, but we were specifically only working with linear functions. Uh, it was like a line of best fit is what we called it. Essentially, you would have a t-table, and we would go and enter it into our calculator, and we could we learned how to graph scatter plots with our calculators in that section. And then we were also able to have the calculator give us that equation for the line of best fit. And hopefully you guys remember some of that, but we'll be going over it in a minute. Uh, there's just essentially an extra step uh, for these problems, and that is to say, that we just don't know it's a linear equation. It could be a different type of equation that we've studied this year. And so you guys are gonna look at the graph of it and decide which of these equations makes the most sense. Uh, so like I said, these are the four that we're primarily working with in this section. Um, linear equations, we should know this because we've studied it this year, that they look like y equals ax plus b or mx plus b, it's also referred to, right? But standard, like more standard form using a's and b's. Uh, linear equations would look like y equals ax plus b. Quadratics have the x squared, cubics have the x cubed, and then exponential equations look like y equals a times b to the x power. Uh, linear equations, let's see here, they form a line. Quadratics are u-shaped. Uh, cubics, increase or decrease with a potential dip. Um, basically, they're either going to start low and move high, um, but it might dip once or it might start up high and move low um, with a potential like increase once. Um, and then exponential equations, I think you guys kind of understand an exponential equation. Um, we should, given coronavirus and the times, uh, things just kind of start off kind of slowly and they increase uh, really quickly. Here I have images of each of these uh, linear equations forming the lines, quadratics forming the u's. Uh, here's what I meant by that. It starts low and goes high, might dip. Um, or starts high and goes low, my dip. And there's some exponential uh, equations. So let's take a look at an example of this then. Um, let's take a look at this equation, or this table. So we have a two variable data set, right? X's and Y's. And what I'm asking you guys to do is write the appropriate equation for this data set. So in order to do this, we are going to rely very heavily on our calculators. We're going to be doing something that we also did in Chapter 2. So those skills that you learned in Chapter 2 hopefully are still uh, somewhat prevalent. I'm going to pop over here. This is not a problem we're doing. This is just me using their calculator. Uh, the data set that we are using does need to be entered. Let's see if I can kind of split screen. Oh, let's go over here. Can we go? Okay, so that's my data set. Uh, what I need to be able to do is write the equation for it. Go ahead and take out your calculators. You're going to start by pushing stat and then edit. And we've done this exact same thing. Uh, even this chapter, we've entered data into this list, but we also did this in chapter two where we entered the x values into L1 and the y values into L2. So I've already done that. Um, I entered them just as they are. From there, you are going to push, well, actually, you need to turn your stat plot on. So 
remember you're going to need to turn it off when you're no longer using the stat plot but stat plot is is the second and the y equals button you can see it right there so i'm going to push second and then stat plot currently plot one is off i'm just going to go into plot one i'm going to push enter and then select on and we can actually graph a lot of different types of data here but that first one is the type we're looking for it's a scatter plot now we need to tell the calculator to zoom in on the stat plot. Uh, if I just push graph, remember this is always just graphing negative 10 units to the left, 10 units to the right, 10 units up, 10 units down. I want it to zoom in on wherever my data set is. And zoom nine, zoom stat, is gonna zoom in on the stat plot. That's what I'm looking for. So zoom nine uh, and I will graph my data set right here. So there I have it, and I should be able to say, okay, this, when I look back at those different types that we talked about, right here, right, which one of these graphs does it look like? Well, that would be a cubic graph. So this is cubic, and now I need to tell the calculator, please write the equation for that data table. And I can do that by going back into the stat, before I went to stat and edit, and I entered the information, now I'm going to go over to calculate because I want it to calculate the line of best fit. Um, if your line was linear, you would choose linreg. If it was quadratic, you would choose quadrag. And this one is cubic, so I can either push six on my on my uh, keypad or I can go down to number six. Yes, I want you to graph a cubic function. I think exponential reg is down here. So cubic regression. Um, I want it to pull the X list is L1, right? That's where we entered the X's. Y's are in L2. Let's go down to calculate. And it is going to give me the information that I need. So my equation is going to look like AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. And it will give me A, B, C, and D right here. So I need to fill in that information. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's see here. There we go. So my equation will be y equals 0.00125x cubed minus 0.15x squared plus 5.57x minus 61.71. All right, so that would be the equation, and that would be my answer. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, please check into my office hours. Uh, good luck.